Hey guys, it's Skier now. I'll just support the video two days ago got with how his distances work with like the toggle Skyward's debug and a little bit more of like the back end mechanics of what's going on. I'll be doing a similar video except for F3B this time. Alright, so the first thing is what exactly is F3B? So now if you hit your F3 and B key, you'll toggle it. Now if you're on a Mac, you need to hit the FN key in the bottom left and then FN and then F3 and then B to turn it on. Same thing for like anything. There's a useful Mac tip if you didn't know how to like use the function things for Minecraft. There you go. Now, the way this works is this isn't actually their hitbox. This is their collision box. Pretty much everything in the internet has it wrong because that's not what it is. Now, uh, in a second, we'll look at some code to see like what's the difference. But essentially, the difference is the hitbox is what if you left click within within the hit reach this within the reach distance, and if you also uh, left click within their box, it'll register a hit. So look, if I go within this dude's hitbox, you can see here I hits registered because. I was hitting within his hitbox. Just don't want to die here. Now, but that's not the hitbox. What's shown is the collision box. Now, me and Sem were, by the way, all of the information behind the hearing code goes to Sem because he was looking through the code source for a lot of the day and we found a lot of interesting things like why player disposition's a thing and other things like that. Yo, bro. Bro, wanna not? So if we find an AFK dude, I'll show you the difference. So this is, you can actually hit outside their collision box because if you look at the code, it'll be on screen now, it'll go more in depth later. The actual hitbox is their collision box plus 0.1 blocks. Yeah, so there, what you can see is whatever that box is, you can hit 0.1 blocks larger than that and the hit will still register. I don't want to die. I'm going to get strength. Good fight. Now, I'll go into my other server locally and show you again how this works, but is there an AFK dude? Because that'd be lit. No, he doesn't look like he's AFK. But anything, so like, that's why uh, I have Orange Marshall's, um, what is it, Vanilla Enhancements, because it shows the hitboxes. They can become red when you're looking at them. So if I'm looking at him within the correct range, this dude's going to try to kill me really hard right now. This is a bad for video, but, uh, and he left a thing in my face, that's lovely. So, the way that this works is if you're within a certain distance and like the hit would register, then it would be red. So you can see here it's red. Well, it's white right now because we're further. But when you fight, hey, you want to not strike pot me? Thanks. All right, so I'll go into a local world and really show you what I'm talking about. All right, so we're back on our favorite developer world with our favorite account. Now, if you look here, here's his collision box. Anything inside of there will interact with him. Like, he'll be able to push a cow or whatever. I should TP him here. Uh... He'll be able to push a cow or do whatever he wants to do uh, with this box here. Now, this is basically the box that he renders in for the most part. That's like, that's what you thought was the hitbox, but it goes, this box goes red when you can hit the entity. Now, if I look outside of here, this is well with outside of it, but the hits will still register because the hitbox is slightly larger than the entity box, than the collision box. You can see here. That's why that happens. So, yeah, this isn't any time you see hitbox, just be like, no, collision box, they're wrong. So that's why people are like, well, you can hit outside the entity's hitbox. You're really not. The hitbox is just an invisible, the hitbox doesn't actually render. This is the collision box of the entity. All right, so there are two things on screen now, one thing on the left and one thing on the right. Now, for all you non-developers, I'm going to try to explain this the best that I can. So the first thing is public float get collision border size. So what this is, is this basically just takes a number that's 0.1. So basically, 0.1 of a block, that's all you need to know is that returns 0.1. Now, if you look at the other thing, uh, you can see here the two red parts is it gets that value. So it gets 0.1, and then it expands the uh, bounding box. So that's another name for their collision box, whatever box that player is in. So that's basically what stops them from falling through the floor when they walk into a wall, things like that. That's why like, your arm can go into a wall because it's outside the bounding box. Now, if you see here, also with the red arrow, there is expand. So all that's doing is just taking that box that they're bound to, and it's making it slightly bigger so that uh, that will be their hitbox. On screen now is another code fragment. Now, all we care about is the first box that says set size 0.6 and 1.8. Now, what that is, is that's setting the bounding box size. Now, if we look on screen also, you'll see that this dude, I have my alt here, I lined him up against the side of the block, and if we count these, 1, 2, 3... 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So he takes up 12 out of 16 of the boxes. So that is 6 tenths of all of the blocks. So 
That's why it's six. Now, if we hit him one, now if we look here, this is gonna go red. If we're right here, we're more than one block outside of his bounding box, so it's not gonna be his hitbox. But if we look slightly over to within one block, or sorry, one tenth of a block, it will go red because right here we're not, we're outside, but right here we're within a tenth of a block. So that's like a little over a pixel, 1.6 pixels. So like right here, it's fine. But like right here at the edge of this, it's not. So if we hit him here, that hit will actually register as a hit because that's within his hitbox, but not his bounding box. I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but all of those code fragments and a lot of that was done by Stem. So thank you, Stem. Everyone should go subscribe to his channel, follow him on Twitter, do whatever. I'll, I'll put something in the description for him. But he did a lot of the work for this. And I'll make a video soon about player disposition. So basically, that's a whole nother topic, but that's, uh, I think I might name this top series, like, Skier Technical or something like that. I don't know. But it, like, it's about how, basically, why combos exist and why you can hit someone from further than you'd ordinarily be able to because of it. So, yeah. Um, now, hitboxes alone. So anytime, like, someone says, oh, let me turn on hitboxes, correct them, because it's not. Hitboxes don't show. I mean, I'm, there's probably a mod out there that'll make it show uh, hitboxes instead of bounding boxes, but for general use, these aren't hitboxes. For the most part, they'll work, only because, like, this this is just a smaller version of the other one. Wow, I'm lagging, and it died. Now, I'm just going to be playing, uh, like, a round with bounding boxes on, and if you don't want to watch this, before you leave, go thank you. Go thank Sam on Twitter. I'll link his Twitter. Go follow him. He did a lot of work for this, like, it probably took him, like, I don't know, an hour or something to look through the code. Because you could take the obfuscated decompiled forge and just look through the code to kind of see how things work. Hey, I got a tip. In classic games. It's working so well. I need coins in that desperately, I promise. I'm gonna poison pot you. I don't want to have to deal with you. So, yeah. Now, if you want to just watch me play, that's, that's, that's always nice. Uh, yeah. Why are there so many people here all of a sudden? Get out of here. Uh, I have strength, don't I? Well, I did. I still do. Hey. And die. So, if anyone's like, yo, let me turn on hitboxes, you need to correct them, because they're just not right. I think I already said that. I don't know, it's late. But, I'll try to, like, win a Skywars game. If there's an AFK dude, I'll, like, show you some things, like, on high pixel. And no, I'm not cheating. You can go do this yourself. You can reproduce all of the things that I was doing easily. Come here. Doesn't take much effort to be able to like look at to hit, like two or three keys if you're on a Mac, and then like look at this and be like, wow, I can at indeed hit someone from outside that box. I'm just gonna strength you. Get out of here. And good game. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow.